soft aid. It's not an illegal copy. Never mind your police, mate. So I, I can't tell you what the first game is, but it should be Star Trader, I think, first game on side one. Because <coughs> their inlay could be in a uh, better condition, I suppose. Oh, the first game is Gumshoe. And then Beam Rider, which I don't like. Uh, Star Traders after that, so... Uh, I don't know where they come up with these uh, tape counter numbers. Because it says uh, 0049, and it's actually 0084. So these are absolutely useless uh, tape counter numbers. Perhaps you should have put your rubbish song at the end. You publicity seeking little cunt. Damn, I can't fucking upload this one either. I said something bad about Sir, Sir Bill Bob Gildorf. Is it still loading? Or the tape still going around? So that's it, that's another thing, you have to be careful that the tapes actually stop once the game's finished loading. But assuming it doesn't just crash out, reset, and keep the tape spinning forward. But yes, unlike the knobs who actually write on the uh, inlay back then which we probably all did, but uh, it probably uh, today you're better off getting a scrap bit of paper and putting the uh, tape counter numbers in there. Now if you've got the standard data set from the uh, bread bin era of the C64 onwards, especially if it's got the grey function keys, uh, then uh, yeah it's about 83, 84 on each side to get past that shitty song. Now the problem with doing it that way is well they've got the tape counter numbers wrong but also there was two types of data set so you know if you got a C64 in early 83 or even late 83 you would have got uh, the, the one with the uh, slimmer tape counter reels and they're uh, black numbers on white reels so they're the opposite and now those numbers are different and those numbers are bigger they're not smaller than this one so I suppose really I should find one of them tape decks we've got one here not bloody light here we fucking have damn it I was going to do my not bloody lightly thing there you go then. That is the uh, the original data set from like 82, 83 era. That no, did stop right, it's one, four, six and a half. So yeah, the, the song should be at the end of the tape in all cases, all cases. That's like, yeah, fuck you, get your... Get your fucking cheap games, you cheap bastard. Give me your fucking money. But uh, I'm going to give you loads of problems. But I've been giving you a stupidly incorrect fucking... What's the next game? You piece of shit, I'll play this. Ah, bollocks. It's Beam Rider after this. I don't want to play Beam Rider. Although I did play this recently, I'll go on and beam it through it is. One, four, six and a half. So yeah, 
there's no way they could give you the correct tape count there's an either way it's not the correct tape count for a 1984-85 C64 anyway I don't know why they didn't just uh, bundle the soft aid game with the uh, C64 Commodore could have easily eaten up that uh, you know £3.50 £3 whatever it would have cost them and you would have got some pretty good games for free and uh, you know they could have got the old publicity Commodore UK announces yeah I can't do Angela Rippon's voice leave me alone mate well this isn't good at all No, it did work. Oh, bollocks. So what happens when you're pressing keys on the keyboard while you're talking and not looking at the screen, mate? I'm trying to listen to this uh, whistle because the quality of this, these tones give you an idea if a game's going to work on a C64 or not. Now, I have found my TV identical model for sale and uh, could be in better condition but the postage was ridiculous and I was like ah oh, great uh, he did say if he lived closer he would uh, you know deliver it personally for less than 50 quid if he could or something but uh, I doubt he's going to drive 150 miles to my side of the country to drop off a fucking portable TV is trying to flog for 60 quid now obviously there's loads of people who collect retro in London London Essex and uh, they could have easily popped around there and picked it up for like you know not much money really so if there was a god I would be getting that TV for, actually I can't tell you why yeah let's end that conversation there but uh, the timing is sort of right so uh, yeah Steve Wright in the afternoon who knows mate roll ups up the yin yang who knows mate so yeah one of the reasons I don't like Beam Rider is because on this compilation you're supposed to get Pitfall and now I never had Pitfall the reason I never had Pitfall is because it was taken off the uh, Soft Aid compilation for some unknown reason. Good. So that is 177. Let's have a quick go at that then. Alright, I haven't finished loading yet. waste of time loading all that bullshit me dregs are forever forever where's my cat I'm looking at the carpet with the reading glasses on that's not good sir maybe I will play uh, a bit of beam rider perhaps it's time to uh, forgive Activision I can't remember if I actually liked Ghostbusters or not. Or if I just found it frustrating after a few days. I initially, yeah, he did like it because of the speech. He slimed me! And stuff like that.
problem now is I don't know if he's failed to load and the tape has carried on. Have a full focus in front of my house. Right. Taking a long time to load for a fucking 16k piece of shit. Let's see, Manic Miner took about 20 minutes per 48k, 5 minutes. Obviously, back then you'd be sitting at your computer. If you're a kid like me, I didn't, didn't smoke until I was about 28. Well, the problem here is my my uh, the tape decks on my hi-fi. They'll rewind and fast-forward tapes, but when you press play, they won't actually play. Maybe you need some new belt, so I'll have to have a look at that one day. This is a bust, mate, a bust. Oh, okay. You all important number, sir. Oh, I ain't got my fucking glasses here, have I? Two five five, pretty much. Is that AV Gen's uh, dad, Dave Rolf? Nah, it won't be. Well, it could be. Probably is joystick port two.
Damn it. Right, well. Just had a very interesting idea. From our first green screen video. Now basically it's me in a suit with a briefcase. I turn up and uh, point with uh, a stick at what's going on on the screen, what they got right, what they got wrong. Uh, I've already lost one of my lighters. Uh, good thing I know where the other one is there. Is it that time already? Oh, fuck's sake, it is a spastic hour. So yeah, I'd just be like, you know, in my slick suit and a tie and everything, you know. You won't be able to see that I've got me uh, slippers on and uh, can actually uh, make my own green or blue screen. It's called a projector. If you just turn on the projector, uh, it just gives you like, a solid colour of your choice actually. I'll go blue screen myself. This is the first one that has a, a turbo loader and yeah that was 255 just so we know and a loading screen. Don't think I've ever seen the loading screen actually if I'm honest. Let's give it the full CRT glasses treatment there. Now I'm not going to really review this game at all because I've done a perfect review of this game already. You can go and check it out. I've actually done the soft aid games. But I was a little bit harsh on Beam Rider I think. It's not bad. Even with a rubbish uh, knackered quick shot turbo. But the problem with that game is uh, your shots don't go to the top of the screen. So I see what they've done, they saw Gyrus and uh, Galaxian next to each other, or something similar to Galaxian. And uh, they thought, ah well, you know, possibly a bit of Space Invaders going on there with the UFO at the end of level. Uh, but your shots don't go right to the end, they kind of stop after about 80% up the grid. So you can't get them when they're right at the top. Which is a bit of a shame because that's one of the best features of Gyrus. The fact that you can accurately shoot those uh, two or three pixel sized tiny ships at the center of the screen in Gyrus. So that's really something they could have changed. So uh, it's not a bad game as it is, but uh, if they wanted a real hit on their hands, you know, someone to like play it a bit longer ease the difficulty a bit. It's not really changing the difficulty because you have to master the uh, shot accuracy. But yeah, if someone would change that, that would make a, a big difference actually. But yeah, that was my idea for the green screen. It's going to be like, uh, you know, you're going to have like a business environment sort of thing and uh, I might blue screen, screen an office and a, a small projector in there and uh, we'll have to line up the uh, blue screen stuff so it's going to be three layers of video two transparent layers one with the office background and then me over the top of it uh, which is going to have the blue screen transparency and uh, you know a transparent layer of what is actually going on in the gameplay Maybe I'll put some VHS sounds because uh, in the 80s you would have demonstrated it on a ropey VHS cassette. But yeah, that'd be quite funny, I think. Maybe not, maybe never do it. I've got a better idea for uh, a blue screen video anyway. Well, actually, it's not actually blue screen. It's going to be uh, cinema movie style you know sitting in a car that's not going anywhere and the engine's not even running with a projected image behind in front or at the sides of you well actually really you need four projectors to do it really well 
and four cameras to record from various angles and it'd have to be the uh, output yeah that's the thing it'd have to be the output from one machine so you'd need four video outputs from one machine so uh, you'd need some sort of video mixer there well actually it's not even a video mixer you need something that will take like you know an S video signal and quadruple it give you four outputs from one input yeah that's uh yeah, that's actually a tough call because most uh, audio video amps or AV amps as they're called uh, they, they have like a standard video output so you have video input on all the channels you can select uh, but you know it only outputs one standard video output yeah, that could be a problem actually. Uh, really, what you'd want to do is be playing uh, GTA and uh, recording it whilst playing it on PCSX uh, 2 with you know the maxed out things set to like 720 and be able to record that at 50 or 60 frames per second on the PC. My PC can't handle that. Well, they could easily drive around the same bit of highway and, uh, you know, then turn around and then do the same bit of road like four times. Be a bit of a nightmare, actually. You probably have to have the uh, PS2 inside the car. Yeah, that would be a nightmare to do, actually. I don't know if this is actually loading or not now. It's quite a big program. I quite like Star Trader. Uh, selfishly, I'm uh, I'm loading this up because I know the battery is pretty much knackered already. So uh, you know I can play this. Let's dry pod after this, and then China. Who gives a shit about China Miner? And then Cockatoni Wilf on the other side, and Gilligan's Gold, which someone uh, commented the other day. You've left out the best bit, the music of Gilligan's Gold, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sure I covered that game many times. Now looking at a ten-year-old, uh, you know, tape loading video, I think, where I just used to like show the game loading and then maybe have a quick go. So basically the same as here, but you know using uh, a PC emulator now you could actually work out on the tape counter how much extra you have to add so uh, I think it was 255 for this so it's 219 here Uh, 255 talking extra 35 and this says 49 here and it was 84 wasn't it I don't get to play Star Raider and uh, there's no way to know oh, the tape is actually stopped because it got stuck it's a weird thing this is Ain't going on with this tape. If that loads, it'd be a fucking miracle, but I don't think it's gonna load. Yeah, 
So it's uh, 362 here, this could be inaccurate, and uh, it says 327, so uh, it's about 5, uh, actually it's about 45 here. It's roughly about 35 extra on each one. If that's correct. Right, we tried gyropod a bit later. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, yes, do you want practice battle? No. Chrome and cross talk looks terrible other than that. I can barely make out what I'm supposed to fucking uh let's go to uh, a gunsmith. You are in a gunsmith's I suppose that sort of makes sense but anyway. Yeah, these are very difficult to make out because the uh, chroma crosstalk is shit. Leave the shop, thank you. Here we go outside the, the shop. No, oh, he's actually open now. You have uh... I think the four is a jewelers. No, 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 no. Maybe it's a space battle bit that's fucked, actually. Uh, Julius is seven. Right, here we go. There's not much variety in the uh, gene pool going on here. Reminds me of that classic X Files episode. R is it? Okay, and P. We have 24,000 credits. Let's just buy uh, a thousand units of gold. That would be 34,000. And it charges you more at that point. Let's go for 500. Too much treble on the 8580. I'm gonna go inside space port, oh, right. Eight, let's go to the pub. Where's the fucking space port? Oh, that's ridiculous, should be open all the time. I just want to make sure the flight bit is working. Ah, come on, man. Bright sunny day, why, why isn't the space pool open? Okay, let's go to the hotel then. Everywhere is closed and yet it's daytime. What's going on? Let's go to uh, a 
pops open. Go back to the space pool, sir. You kicked me out pretty quick. You barely got the crumbs off me mouth, you bastard. Ah, let's go to planet number seven. So if he's gonna crash, he'll probably crash here. Joystick port two. It has crashed here. I thought so. So I guess you're avoiding these planets. So far it's worked, you travel through deep space for two days, I think it carries on again actually. They're not pilot controls actually, to go down you pull back on the joystick and to go up you push forward. So that's a bit weird, but left and right is correct, so I think they've got that wrong. To a winner, sir. So. I think we'll do 250 and then another 250. Uh, let's do uh, 299. I want to sell the rest of it. Ah, his jeweler's shop is closed now, shit. A space port here, again with a closed space port. Let's go to the pub, have a sandwich. Have a sandwich, mate, maybe I'll have one now. This is the kind of game you play with a cup of tea and a sandwich. Maybe uh, Mr. Kipling's uh, mini Bakewell. I'm really enjoying the pre-COVID three decades earlier when things were much better. Well, they were getting worse, but they're better than they are now. But the C64 wasn't around in the mid to late 70s, so no computer worth playing games on was really. Uh, let's try the jewelers again. Is he open? sell them fucking uh... you can't get mugged that's a bit of a spoiler that is see I much prefer this game to the wild bunch because you're not immediately killed although there is a serious problem with this game design hey Dan there's no more web box buddy No, don't move the camera. You little shit. Ah, that's a bit iffy actually. 
Right, that's close enough. And as you can see, we went to the next planet, we sold the gold and we made quite a bit of money. Because all these sandwiches and staying overnight business, be expensive, innit? Yes. I'll take my glasses on. Now, where the hell are they gone now? Not the tobacco glasses. Well, we lost the CRT glasses. Yeah, where the hell have I put the CRT glasses? Right, let's go and Ah, uh, cats want a bloody shift change as well, right. They fell off down the side of the uh, monitor, innit? Right. Purple lighter in the pocket. Ah, uh, I want to go inside. The spaceport. Get fat or get fit, who knows? How do I get fit then? Nothing obvious there. Unusual farm. I want to go inside the spaceport. What does that even mean? Got the clothes shop then. I don't know if it looked like that uh, bloke who did the uh, Haywards pickles. Shh! Shh! Come on, buddy. Zero, thank you. <laughs> what I should have said was fucking wine taster. From the phone shop. What did I say? doesn't mention anything about eating good food right okay Uh, let's go to the uh, hotel, which is closed. So uh, let's go to the pub then. have a dinner. I think that's D for a pub dinner. Oh, 
Oh, it's night time now. Spaceport will be closed. Shit. Gonna get mugged at night, innit? The spaceport is closed, so we're gonna get mugged. We've got a lot of cash on us. We need to get in the spaceport. Uh, let's go to the pub then. Stay here for the night? Yes. We need to be safe from the muggers and the Adamski monster. Right, buddy? Very difficult last couple of days, mate. Says I am still hungry. Let, let me in the space pool though. Yeah, very strict medical. Maybe I have to poop out everything I've eaten on the planet, like uh, on that thing on Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Pub is closed. Poor old 90s generation, eh? Pub is closed. Mm -hmm. Fucking lockdown's a shit idea. Yeah, speaking of lockdown, apparently hospitals are now saying do not come in for A&E because we are too full. Accident and emergency, for those who don't know. Let's try the uh, hotel again. Oh, the hotel is closed. These hotels, why are they close? They should be 24 hours, mate. It is lunchtime, the pub must be open, right? We'll have a dinner, another beer. He immediately buys a beer like a loser. He's going in for food, mate. L for pub lunch. Doesn't say I'm hungry anymore. Let's try going to the spaceport then. Go to planet five. We have to avoid the big, uh, what are these things called? Uh, gobstoppers, that's it, yeah. You crash into a planet. No, you didn't. Yeah. No! They take the money you have. You travel through space for a long time. What? You have no laser power, so you can't... No, no, no. Really? I didn't take all my money. What a bunch of idiots. Uh, no, we're gonna buy food. You're bored, aren't you? Sucks for you, because they uh, only just uh, put a fully charged camera battery in there, ain't it, buddy? want something though. He's putting his uh, stink from his jowls on my uh, fingers. You want to go on top of the TV? Come on in. I'll give you a little hand. There you go buddy. There we go. Magic. declare all that I haven't got anything. Oh, actually, I'll probably take a tax on the money. Pay duty of four credits, well. Let's uh, check out the jewellers, which is seven, I think. Let's 
see how much he's uh, selling stuff for. Hey, don't knock the camera, buddy. Uh, R to show to... No, we want P. We want... Yeah. Oh, it's dirt cheap here, isn't it? Could load up on the old gold, didn't it? We've got 28. Let's see how many can we buy? If we bought a thousand at 29, that'd be 29,000 credits. So I can't quite afford that. But we could afford uh, maybe uh, 800. Let me go back to Planet 7. I'm sure he does wish me a good day. You conned me, mate. You are starving. Again with a starving. I never... I don't remember this in uh, my super review. Oh, I need to go back in the space pool. Space pool is closed! God damn you. But it's still daytime. Don't want to waste my money in a pub or nothing. What if I just want to wait outside the space pool? Yeah, you see science that you are outside the space pool. Did say I'm hungry, didn't it? No, let's go to the pub then. Yes. Already bought a pint of beer. Uh, deep for pub dinner. Wow, this guy eats a lot. Uh, yeah, go on then. Maybe I'm weak from carrying 800 sacks of gold, sir. Go back to the pub and eat something else if they don't let us in the space pool. Again with this. This wasn't, I'm sure this wasn't in the other one. You have to fatten yourself up in it. Oh God, now they're closed. The hotel's closed. Nowhere else to eat, is there? General store. Wow, I ain't got enough. Maybe next time, buddy. Let's buy three. or G. That's G, see? I have to try the pub again a bit later, innit? To have some sandwiches, but I've got food packs, so L for pub lunch. Good old pub lunch. I've got half a pork pie in the freezer. Pork pie! Maybe I eat it wearing my pork pie hat. I haven't got a pork pie hat. In my mind, I've got a pork pie hat. Again, with a failed medic, right? Gyropod is next. Let's go. Let's go, sir. Right there, buddy. does not sound good. Yeah, the tape doesn't want to turn. Something weird going on. 
No, I didn't check the number, did I? Gyropod. No, it's about three six five. No, buddy, what's the matter? What is it you want? Huh? You want something? You want bloody web box, isn't it? worried about this tape maybe if we turn the tape up this way it will help I can't actually see if the tape's turning or not where's my other bloody uh, <coughs> tape loading uh, LED Check the projector. Well, the PC connected to the projector, the fan hasn't stopped. Sometimes when it's all action on the screen, or in my case, the wall. Right, the reels seem to be going round consistently. So now the bad thing about this compilation like most is uh, you know the games are only recorded on one side so it's a one shot deal but that's only a problem today back then if it worked and you, you looked after your tapes there's no problem loading them in five years later 35 years later that's a bit of a different story sir Actually, this year is the uh, 40th anniversary of the C64. I believe they started selling them in uh, was it June in America. They were launched, I believe, probably the summer CES show. But they were actually shown at the winter CES show in January, and that's where that's the actual thing that got manufactured. The delay was because Jack Trammell ran the factories non-stop, you see. Now, sir! We can try that again. I think it was 365. Well, at least it's uh, handily reset the machine, which is nice. I'm only keeping the tape deck vertical, not because I'm hip and uh, you know all that kind of bullshit. Trending. What's trending at the moment? Vertical uh, data sets. Should actually help if anything though, because uh, it should. Well, you know what? If there's slight resistance in the reels in the tape case for whatever reason turning the uh, data set 90 degrees not really going to help in the vertical plane so my cat still wants something he's uh, he's hanging around it's a bit like if one of your mates know you've got sweeps and they ain't got none they hang around with you and it gets some free sweets in it
Yeah, I don't know why uh, they didn't just make Soft Aid uh, a constant thing. Where, you know, like Sinclair, Amstrad, Commodore would pay a certain amount and, uh, you know, the Band Aid people who made the Soft Aid uh, project, you know, they would, uh, they would just fund, you know, remastering of them again and again and they're just like, you know, not only are they on sale, but if you buy a new computer, you get soft aid. So every C64 that was sold, soft aid could have made a quid or whatever. And uh, if there was a million C64 sold, then uh, great. And if all the games on soft aid worked on the NTSC uh, C64, then uh, you know it's even more win. Actually, it's a bit of a dumb idea for. Uh, but then that wasn't Jack Tramiel's Commodore. They did have bundles later, but Soft Aid is a great thing to get. Yeah, speaker is a bit fucked on this. Remember how you uh, fire off? You're gonna have to have the instructions now, right? Where is the soft aid cassette though? I think we're supposed to have oh, bollocks, so I have to do it quite quickly. I can't do it all the time. You have to do it really fast, actually. There's nothing else to get. Why don't you get? How would you get out of there? Then? Still learning. It's very tricky to do this bit, actually. Ah, uh, but I keep forgetting that it's not a cutscene. I've been ruined by the modern gaming generation. I'm wasting life just trying to launch a fucking pod. Right, so you go up the stairs again, so... Uh... It's a lovely little game, mate. Shame I've lost all my fucking memories of it. I'm not very good at it, but uh, I'm glad that loaded. Right. What else is on this side, isn't it? If anything, so. China Miner! Ooh, that's been a long time. So, this was 392. 
I'm never going to remember that. I can't even remember what I had for dinner two days ago. Probably crisps. Thing. Yeah, I've bloody mixed up the uh, Space Pilot tapes. I've got two copies in the pile of games at work, and I, on I know only one of them loads. So I don't know how that happened. You obnoxious bastards. Dee 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 dee. Bit of cola. That was not good. That was not good at all, sir. Ah, you asshole. accidentally reset the bloody tape and counter. Was it three? I thought it was three nine two. Sounds okay so far. It's the second part loading. So, so far it's fine. That's a bit weird. All right, it's replace the standard Commodore loader. Okay, I don't know if it's going to work now. Obviously, it didn't work once. loading music or anything, I can't really tell if it's stopped loading, I'm not looking at the screen at the moment, so I know screaming man, stop the tape, rewind it, <laughs> yeah, it's a shame Pat Billy hasn't done a video for a while, because he, and like, by that I mean a special, because he does good voices. I don't know if he's been doing like stuff on other channels, so that I wouldn't know. Again, just for those who don't know, I don't actually subscribe to anyone unless they specifically ask me or say they need him for their channel. Because uh, there's hardly any channels on YouTube I do look up. And I can remember all the ones I need to uh, check every now and again when I've got time. YouTube videos, projector bomb. That's enough for that bloody old my mum would have been screaming at me. What the hell is going on up there? Sorry, Mom, left it. Yeah, maybe my mum wasn't exactly like that, but uh, I've been influenced by uh, George Costanza's mum. See, so who has sadly passed away. Courtney told me that.
Okay, what are you eating? Hey. What is that? Yeah, it's food in the bowl. Don't be eating plastic, you dick. Hey. Hey. No, that's not food. Come on. I'm hungry. I put two types of food there for you, Chucky, and yeah, if you didn't eat any of those and you don't like what's up in here. Tough litter tray tokens as we're gonna put them from now on. Just enough tobacco soup. Yeah, isn't it your sleep time, mate? Well, actually, we better put the PC on from now. Make sure the fucking fan works. I still ain't found the WD40, so there's no point taking the CPU fan. Right then, let's play this with a knackered fucking uh, quick shot. And now uh, see what happens, mate. Just deep put one, you reckon? He is joystick put one. I don't think you have to do any diagonals on this game though. You have to push up to jump straight where you are. I think you do, yeah. This has got to be timed down to the millisecond, this bit. Nah, this joystick is now suffering, isn't it? I don't think it comes all the way over here anyway. Look at those triangular jump movements, mate. Ladders are a bit iffy. I'm sure you go this way first. You have to, so you have to jump. I think it's probably about it. Uh, oh, you might have to jump straight up there. Right, I don't like this game. That's a good thing. There's the last one on this side, right. This game... Maybe with a zip stick, if you really love this game, then uh, yeah, um, I suppose. But with uh, a quick shot turbo that's uh, pretty much knackered, needs uh, replacing of those little uh, metal no, uh, what are they? They're sort of like metal bubbles, little domes. Uh, that's not going to happen, mate. Oh, crap. I couldn't hear nothing now. So we have a mystery game on side two. So. What the hell is it finding? The suspense is killing me. What's the first game on side two that wouldn't announce itself? Ah, Cockatoni Wolf. That is quite an old game. You know what, I can't remember the bloody uh, tape counter numbers. If, if anyone watches all of this shit, can you please, please 
put down what the tape counter numbers are for like when the next game is supposed to load. Gilligan's gold is after Cockatoni Wilf. Cocksucker Wilf. That's uh, such an in insult because you don't know what Wilf means. Alright, then it's Fred. Alright, oh, Falcon Patrol's on here and then Flack. So this is how I had uh, Flack, uh, Gilligan's gold, Gyropod. Things like that, uh, Star Trek, well, obviously, but uh, I didn't have the ocean release of Gilligan's Gold. I did have Falcon Patrol, but I didn't have Fred by Quicksilver as a full price game. So I didn't have Beam Rider as a full price game. As it's continued to load, let's, uh, let's leave that. It's a bit annoying that chart busters don't work, so I can't load up uh, Eagle Empire. But I bought Eagle Empire in the clamshell case, and I have got that. Let's hope that works. Like I said, we need uh, a massive drawer full of uh, all the C64 games I had back then. Well. C64 tapes to be precise because uh, you know if I had flak on soft aid I need to make sure I've got a working copy of soft aid you know now games that's how I had a copy of uh, Brian Bloodaxe yeah Not looking forward to quitting smoking because uh, the fact that the uh, selfish uh, arsehole world that we live in is forcing me to do it is not helping my mood mate. That's a funny thing. It's like someone saying to you you have to quit smoking. So, But because it's a medical reason we'll, we'll do it. I know that if I leave an open pack of uh, tobacco I'm gonna have to throw it away really so then I still have two bloody unopened packs of tobacco as well and all the paraphernalia that comes with that but the problem is it doesn't matter if you only have one roll up a day the damage is done mate apparently uh, you have to have none and you have to have none for so long that well you wouldn't have one roll up after six months would you if you make it to six months and then you have one roll up yeah you know what's going to happen next mate so uh, yeah there is that I didn't want to go cold turkey because I knew that wouldn't fucking work anyway. For all I know, he could be trying to load another bloody game. There's quite a lot. Let's see what the uh, digits say on this one. Yeah, it's actually a copyright Band-Aid Band -Aid Trust. I'm trying to read this for much light. Care of Stoy Hayward, 8 Baker Street, London, W. D-D-D-D-D-D, Baker Street. Actually, it is about 110 digits for this Cockatoni shit. Cockatoni Spastic. Yeah, I've covered all that because I've done... I actually done the soft aid games. This isn't that. This is me 
doing a full test on the uh, soft aid cassette number two. Number one was uh, a bust, fuck all loaded on either side. So I gave up. Because if nothing loads, then uh, you can't fast forward it to the next bit. Because the uh, counter things are wrong, you see. Actually, it looks like the C64 is broken. This must be the slowest turbo loader in the world, or Cockatoni Wolf must be a 62k fucking program. Which is possible. Be a very simple game, but uh, well, it was at eighty something, and if you add one hundred and ten and whatever the difference is, it's going to go up quite a lot. I wouldn't have been happy with this back then. I've had to have a swig of my uh, Coke Zero. There you go. And trust me, it is Coke Zero. It's not Virgin Cola. I don't think they sell that anymore. I don't know why, actually. Perhaps they weren't saving enough by having Virgin Cola only on their airplanes uh, compared to what they'd have to pay coca-cola I don't know what they did about Fantalo which is uh, coca-cola's solution to a problem that the uh, the Nazis were actually having they couldn't get enough of the uh, they couldn't make enough of the syrup some problem with getting the ingredients for the, the cola syrup so coca-cola helpfully helped the uh, Nazi party and uh, Help them to have a uh, Fanta. So obviously sugar couldn't have been the problem. I don't know what it was they couldn't get rid of then. Get hold of, not rid of. I still got batteries in uh, this thing. Oh, no, I've taken the batteries out. Uh, we can have a quick go of. Uh, Astro Wolf, which is just sitting right here. Uh, I think I've got a couple of negatives on that, but uh, you try filming these things, mate. Especially when they're fucking uh, 40 years old. There's only so much cleaning I can do now to make up for how it was stored and all that shit that happened before I bought it. There is going to be scratches on the screen. It's a chromatic screen anyway. Very high contrast, like uh, a £5,000 uh, 4K projector. But it's totally clean. You're not going to get the shits by playing uh, Astro Wars. And by the time this shit loads, if it is loading, you could probably find the batteries and have a quick go. Which uh, bag has got the batteries? Here we go. Ah, no, I put all the cables on the batteries. Bloody hell, what nightmare. There's one, and it's right down the bottom. That's one. You need four of the bastard things. I might need another pack here. There's another one right <laughs> a bit fucked on this at high volume so I found three of the batteries and I'll pull that dilly dally in mate just need to find one more battery and uh I'll say this right, 
cigarette filter in there. Uh, bloody hell, there's one missing. Oh man, you get four in the pack of it. There it is. Here's a little rascal. Yeah, so I am putting off uh, playing this game because it's an sh absolutely shit game, mate. Right? Right, that's ready for later, so. Let's have a quick go at this bullshit with the uh, knackered quick shot turbo. This is the guy who wrote Airwolf. Consider yourself an idiot for buying this full price. D -d 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 -d. I think we're supposed to collect the eggs. No, we're supposed to collect those uh, big uh, plates, whatever. Well, at least you can fucking. Oh, it's this bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. Does that thing come all the way here? Oh, you can actually land on there, I think. Oh, you got to wait there, innit? Ah. You get a lot of spastics on this game, mate. That's what a wilf is. A wilf is uh, someone who's suffered spastication. Ah, crap, we've got the timing wrong there. There's a bit of inertia as well, like Robocop 2. Can I touch the fucking tree? Ah! Look at that, man. The Tweed Jolly game now it's all dark and everything. Ah, I get so much inertia, it's unbelievable. Just fucking stop. Ah, Jesus Christ, the controls are horrible in this game, that's the biggest problem with this game. Fucking touch the ceiling. Oh, okay, that's something there. Wait, well, see more than you saw on the uh, last uh, review. I don't do reviews, sir, just so you know. Go through this way. I'm not gonna fucking get over that, that bit. It's a bit like magic carpet, this bit. Oh, is there a downdraft going on there? And we'll never know. Because it's time for Gilligan's Gold.
they're leaving more of a gap than they do after that shit music you have to have at the start of each side of the tape. There you go. Now the volume down a bit there, sir. Thank fuck I was already doing that. Hey, it is. See, it's like US gold music. There is some sort of link between uh, Ocean and US Gold. I'll have to watch that Bedroom to Billions thing again. One time. One time, two time. Many times I've seen that. It's, uh, it's a lot of projector bulb hours though. So I usually skip the educational rubbish at the end. Now, this is definitely Gilligan's US Gold Loader by Ocean Software. Now what's after Gilligan's goal? So a quick look. Now where is my cat? Oh, my cat has decided he's going to sleep. Oh interesting times mate, interesting times. Season 3 episode 1 of travellers shall be commencing when I get bored doing this. My next game is Fred, which we've played. So I tried the full price version and then Falcon Patrol actually. So I might just test that they actually load. You know what this bloody camera battery is like, it's a fucking failure. Should be in its prime, mate. We're getting a game of... Uh... Obviously you can't see the screen. That's just crazy talk. I only lost a life because I was looking at the screen to see if it loaded yet. Something's happened. Ah, oh, it's loaded. Ah, see I had to look at the screen again. if I looked at this with my reading glasses. Would the memories come flooding back? <laughs> it's a great idea. Play electronic games while you see 64 tape games load. I bet I did this. It's a genius idea, sir. Ah, we're on a different level. Ah, sucks to be you watching this video, mate. You can't even see me playing this awesome game. It's the kind of game Holly from Red Dwarf would play in the pub. If he could uh, download himself into an Android body. He'd be at the uh, pub, nice table, bench seats, Chesterfield uh, brand leather. I'm having to concentrate here a bit, hang on a minute. With his pint of real ale and his uh, Astro Wars on the tabletop, because it's a tabletop electronic game. Ah no! You can't wait on the last row. I've 
Then what happens if you do duck? I think you just get more points. Right, okay, I'll play this instead now. Let's have a look at the music on this then. I thought there was music on the top of this, right then. Twee and Jolly Game. And the reason I don't like this game is because of uh, just picking uh, the carts up and shit. And there's a massive speed advantage for them over me. And that's just uh, when I'm not carrying the gold. And then that happens. And I can't go down that way, I have to go down this way. It's real bastard. And you're supposed to, basically, you're supposed to collect all the uh, sacks of gold. Robbing poor Gilligan there. And you can do that, but then you have to go and collect them down the bottom anyway. See, I was trying to drop one gold and then come back, but it's not quite... It's an insanely difficult game, that's why I don't like it. Gee, that was a mistake. There's some very fussy controls on this. how long it takes you to take this shit up there. But I don't know what you see. And uh, you can't actually get rid of them at all. Go across to another screen, you bastards. Oh, shit. Ah, a bit fucked there. I wasn't sure you could take the gold in the elevator, actually. But there's nowhere else for you to go here. Yeah. Why am I, do you always start down here? See, even though the, uh, the cart is in the other screen, nah, it's a real slapdash cocksucker conversion. What's the original called? O'Reilly's Mine. So you can stay up there, and you can miss this thing. Why doesn't it go back one, one, one that way? Because he's waiting for me down there, the bastard. He was actually waiting at the lift. Right, you can pick this up and you can knock him out. Right, it's a one time only deal, so it's, it's not like you know, the power pellet in pack mode. I don't like this game anyway. See, it should stop there as well. Shit. Right, anyway, let's uh, check the uh, tape counter figure for this before we turn it off 277 and a half oh there is music see they should have just done a game like this maybe I nick these graphics for the pet ski with no name that's my favourite candidate for the uh, title of this thing but the problem is it's, it's I want it with these kind of graphics, so sprites on top, simple user defined graphics for some things, and you know the mountains there look very pesky. Oh, uh, that's the thing, yeah, actually you can go in the carts as well, let's see if we can do that then. Splice them together, well, 
that was the uh, 59 minute, 59 second limit of the uh, camera. Thank you, Bill Gates. Well done, mate. We have to support that useless shit. No, no, now they're up here. Boils. Actually, I'm waiting for that. So you're invulnerable while you're in the car, right, okay. And you have to get off at the specific. Uh, actually, I want to go to the very top, which I didn't have to do anyway. Bloody hell! And you can't jump in this game, that's the other thing. There is a good game trying to get out, but uh, very annoying actually. But we rode the minecart, alright that's it, so that's that's basically it. So you've got to clear all these screens. Nick, poor Mr Gilligan's gold. Yeah, 277 and a half. The tape does sound like it's struggling, actually. Don't know, actually. It does appear to be going a bit slow. Just looks like it's going a bit slow. So this is how I had Fred. No fancy loaders, nothing. Oh, that spastic millennials come home. Well, oh, actually, the woman who's supposed to be living by herself, she's driving his car. Where's the red car? Then? He doesn't have a girlfriend, he's a bit of a horse-faced cunt. Yeah. At least they've done the decent thing and parked in front of their own open driveway. They're not that bad, it's just they have a lot of visitors sometimes. Not really sure what was going on in that two week period. Then I have a fig roll, or what are the other options in here? Skittles. Let's got a couple in here. Ooh, jelly beans, just to have a couple of these. And I'll have two of the red ones, please, sir. Thank you. Like I said, we done Fred not that long ago, and uh, Falcon Patrol done to death. So I'm just really interested if they load. Cola tastes a lot better when you're eating sweets at the same time. I wonder why. Flashing just a border. I was going to say, is it going to have a loading screen? It don't look like much of a loading screen to me. In fact, it's only about eight bytes worth of graphic data there. Well, it's exactly eight bytes of graphic data. So I don't know if it's fucked up, but it's a bit. It's a bit random. This could actually be one of the Petsky characters. Very weird. Oh bloody hell, you can't even see that. Yeah. 
you'll have to have it on low brightness for until it loads. Might as well do something useful and line up the camera. Yeah, so Travellers uh, Season 3, Episode 1. I must have hit a key on the keyboard. I like the mummy sprite. Well, graphics, but I think they are sprites. How they're drawn on this one, one. Alright, you got me. I couldn't resist the go. It's joystick port 2 this game. There we go. Oh no, the curtains are still open. Ah, well, sucks to be, uh, watching my channel then I guess I'm just looking for the mummies really the mummies come ah they're fucking bread rolls innit wonder bread game you have to map out, that's the only problem. Nah, it's a dead end. Oh, we haven't seen the mummies, just an explore them up basically. I mean we just collected a bomb. You have to basically find your way out of the cavern. No, that's no good. That's, that's a bit misleading that one. So I picked up everything except the uh, bomb because uh, I did pick up, oh look there's a bomb up there, maybe you've got to pick up more than one. <coughs> Them bloody wonder bridge, isn't it? Oh shit. I'm being attacked by the wonder bridge. Day, buddy. Now it crashes. Is it exactly the same though? So you get some mummies now. Mummy! Oh, you don't get your energy uh, thingy. Ah, uh, it's probably exactly the same. Mad Commodore does a, a surprise long play there. Surprise long play, madam. Surprise something. Anyway. Not that kind of channel, mate. We've discussed that many times. I have actually enjoyed going through these uh, tapes so far, it's, uh, except when they don't load at all. But uh, you know, even uh, quite an arduous experience as loading all these games from the actual Soft Aid tape. So five and a half minutes, this is a standard Commodore loader. 
can't remember how big Falcon Patrol is. Ah, the largest dregs there at the bottom under the fag ash. Of course, sir, of course. So I might stitch these all together on my PC and uh And then I don't have to mess about with my Commodore 2, which is not my twin, I'm not like that mate. Right buddy, here you go. Whee! Right. So yeah, that's been a lot of fun, and uh, whether this game loads or not, coming to the end of this uh, soft aid marathon. I even played China Minor for you, so uh, yeah. Woke up this morning, I thought right we're doing uh, chart busters, little joke of uh, we're doing a busters game, not ghostbusters, he he, the four, etc. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stand by my uh, comment with full conviction, Soft Aid was, for me, the best compilation tape out there. Not only was it only £4.50, or was it £4.50, I think it was £4.50, uh, but I also had nine games on there, and there is, uh, oh, actually I think Flack is after Falcon. So I better bloody load. So we're not coming to the end of the video at all. I'd forgotten about Flack. And I did used to play Flack with the uh, Quick Shot Turbo. I remember that. So let's hope everything goes. Right, yeah, this, uh, this tape, we had a few problems. If it was one of those millennial fake, fake humentaries, I'd be sitting on a stool in front of some green screen bullshit and telling you all this stuff. But uh, yeah, we had a few problems. Yeah, uh, the tape was sort of uh, resisting the tape reels. I should be more precise there. But somehow, by some miracle, we all pulled through and uh, so far everything that it said it's uh, found, it has loaded. So far. Perhaps uh, I'd have the band-aid music as well in, in the background. Maybe that's a little Retrotronics project we could do, but I think that channel's fucked. And uh, I don't think I can get rid of the swearing, so that's uh, that's just too beep in bad for you, you, or just uh, you know mute the audio. That's the other alternative. I usually just actually usually I just completely delete that section of audio and uh, just uh, re-render the video file with a slightly shorter audio track and. Uh, you don't even notice half the time. I think I had to do that with Afterburner. You now some sort of problem between the speed of both the uh, recorded output from uh, well all the emulators basically and main and sheet. Speaking of Afterburner, I found my copy of Afterburner for the Seeker Saturn. Galaxy Force and Power Drift as individual releases and also the Sega Ages thing which was uh, 
base area after burner and uh, outrun. Probably means my uh, Daytel Action Replay cartridge for the uh, Sega Saturn somehow stopped working. All the cartridge for on my Japanese Saturn stopped working. Or possibly both. How do I time these things? Tape counter people, tape counter, 384. Let's put a cassette on the top there or something. How about an LED light bulb, sir? More bass for you there. Fantastic game. I didn't mean to do that. But Tom Cruise wasn't smoking in Top Gun, was he, sir? No, sir. Didn't have a little uh, hole in the front of his oxygen mask with a cigarette sticking out from it, no. But that would be a good uh, good thing to try and do in after, you know, after effects. Not the specific product. That was a close one, sir. This is what Airwolf should have been like. Timing your turn is also quite important because you waste time here. quite funny actually, Maverick smoking uh, Benjamin Hedges I reckon, that usually never happens actually. I'm afraid we're going to have to cut it short there, it's 384 I believe here, so uh, we need to know if flak loads or not. Because I might actually play a game of Flap too, so don't be selfish, man. I ain't played Flap for uh, well, whenever it was, I made the video for that. Pre-COVID times, sir. Uh, they're mythical times. Now, if I was a smoker with uh, liver in good condition and not fucked up kidneys. So whatever a title page or anything came with a full price releases, they have been left intact. They're identical, you know, tape sounds that have been sent on tape to this company, the Band-Aid Trust. And uh, they they probably got someone in to like mastering a new tape with those in a specific order. So yeah, I really hope I've got um, soft aid for the spectrum. 
I would love to play those games like that. Because if I had a Spectrum, I would have bought Soft Aid. I know that. It's, uh, it's quite a well-respected uh, set of games on there. It's not too bad. Now, I don't know what to do with the cauliflower. The outside bits. Obviously I'm going to make my own uh, vegan mints out of them and uh, well it's better than any fuck shit textured soya protein shit you buy uh, but I can't remember how I made the uh, delicious vegan lasagna fillings uh, I know there's garlic in there and tomato puree now they go really well with the uh, stuffed peppers you know Mediterranean stuffed peppers dolmas they're called and uh, but that's specifically uh, the stuffed vine leaves if you just say dolmas like that plus you look like an idiot if you said it like that to a person who uses those particular words in their language anyway now I think I might have my uh, vegan sausage meat aubergine based thing mixed in with it I might have just thought well I've got aubergines I've got the uh, thing so yeah if you're doing something like a bolognese that's where the uh, the cauliflower rice as it's sort of called but you don't grate the whole cauliflower the outside of the cauliflower is a completely different thing to cooking the stalks and the centre completely just need the hard uh, outside. So I have to cut all the stalks off. So it takes fucking hours. But anyway, I've done it. And uh, well, this loaded actually pretty fast. About three and a half minutes. So yet again, you know the myth, myth, which uh, you know. She makes me feel very miffed. Looking for my bloody uh, CRT glasses. Right. That, uh, you know, Commodore games took like uh, 10 minutes, 8 minutes. Yeah, that's bollocks, mate. That's from the uh, fucking Patreon pricks, that one. <clears throat> that's a bit weird. Got pins and needles uh, as if I'd cut myself here, which I haven't. Right. Let's go. Right. Uh, whatever that key is, probably control is pause. And uh, it is joystick pull two. So I swap the joysticks over. not going forward from that. Is it not plugged in properly? That's a great start. Yeah, we can't go forward. Is that a load there? So, let's try the old zipper room yells, mate. If you can't move forward, you ain't gonna do this game. Yeah, I know I've moved the camera away. We have to start another game, are we? Christmassy music indeed. Almost as if you were doing a Star Wars knockoff film, you'd have this as a theme tune. It's brilliant. <laughs> Let's see if we 
can move forward now. Nine out of nine for the Logan. That's what happens, you see. Merrily on your way, destroying their poor, poor people's uh, homeland there. See, now you're in a bit of a bobbery spot, isn't it? Sadly, no memories to it. Nah! See, that's an impossible place to leave me in. That's just dirt. Fucking dirt, sir. Come on. You have to be pretty accurate with the fucking shots as well. Oh, shit. There's nothing fun about that, mate. Fun soft, more like not very funny soft sheets. It's a very difficult game. The heating has actually just gone off and I'm starting to feel cold. Alright, well, that's uh, the end of the uh, Soft Aid uh, special, I suppose. Does my Soft Aid tape still load? Who knows what we're going to call it? 